Hi, this is a quick video on how to use Logger Pro to find the point where two lines intersect. Um, we've usually used Logger Pro to uh, enter data. For example, if we collected data on the, uh, the clock reading um, of, uh, of some, some situation as time passes, what the stopwatch reads, and let's say the position of an object. Um, using the abbreviation X measured in meters. Um, it's always an important step to do this um, first in Logger Pro uh, before you actually make a graph, whether you're entering data here or doing something else like we're going to do today. Um, you need to enter th those values, whatever values you want to show up on these axes um, before you actually make the graph because this is the only way to get the values on the axes themselves. Um, so once you've done that, um, like I said, we, we could, if we did the experiment, like actually put in values here, um, but we can do something else in Logger Pro as well. If we go to Analyze and go down to Model, uh, you'll see that we have a lot of different relationships that we can choose from. Um, we're going to stick with a simple one. We're going to do a linear fit. Remember, we're just, we're just going to try to figure out the point where two straight lines intersect. We're going to choose a linear fit. Um, you'll notice that this linear relationship is in slope-intercept form. This could say y equals mx plus b. Instead, it says position equals m times t, or clock reading, plus b. Um, and the important thing about this is is not that we're well it's, it's important that we're graphing position and clock reading rather than y and x but it's also important that we can enter values in here for slope and if you know something about algebraic representations of constant velocity motion um, you know that if there's a straight line on this position versus clock reading graph if we enter a value for the slope that value represents the constant velocity of this object. If the velocity of an object is constant, this graph will be straight and that constant velocity will be the slope of that graph. So for example, I could enter a slope here of negative 2.3. This would have units of meters per second. I can't add those units in Logger Pro because um, it doesn't understand anything but numbers here. But keep in mind that this negative 2.3 actually means negative 2.3 meters per second as a velocity. Um, and then this so-called y-intercept is actually a position intercept. It's a position value at a clock reading of 0 seconds. So let's say this thing started at a position of 5 meters. If I hit OK, then Logger Pro goes ahead and, and draws that line for me like I could do on graph paper myself, but this is kind of convenient that Logger Pro does it for me. I want to try this again. I can do it as many times as I want. I want to try it again with another linear fit, but I want to use a different velocity. Let's say this thing has a velocity of 0 0.2 meters per second, and let's say it started at, oh, I don't know, 0.1 meters or 10 centimeters. Um, again, this is a, a velocity, um, a constant velocity, and an initial position. If I hit OK, I can see this other straight line, and I'm starting to see that these two lines intersect at this point. That is, this is a point where both the position and the clock reading of these very different motions, one of these things is starting at this position and moving back this way with this specific velocity. The other is starting at this position and moving this way, that is like increasing on the number line of position um, with this specific velocity. We can see at the point where the two lines intersect, they have the same position and the same clock reading. Um, which is sometimes a valuable um, point. That is, it's a valuable point on the graph, but it, but like that specific position and that specific clock reading can have physical meaning in a situation. Um, so you can see, as I move my, my mouse around, you can see these numbers in the bottom left um, changing. Um, and if I move my mouse to the point where these two intersect, I can see, all right, at a clock reading of 1.95 seconds 
and a position of 0 0.50 meters, these two objects have the same position at the same clock reading. If I, if I care to, I can actually zoom in on this by putting a blue box around it, just click and drag, um, and then hitting zoom, and Logger Pro will zoom in really tight so I can even get a more precise value. Um, I think that that other value is pretty good, but I can even identify it as 0.492 meters and 1.9598 seconds. That is, uh, this, this may be too precise for us. I think this is probably pretty good given um, the precision of our numbers here. Um, but this basically shows you how to find the how to use Logger Pro to find the intersection point. I want to mention one more thing. Um, when you've added those linear fits as a model here um, in Logger Pro, you can change the values and see how that changes the graph. For example, if I change that 1.2, or sorry, if I change that 0.2 to like 2.4, then I can see that line gets a lot steeper. That means that if this line represents an object traveling at a constant velocity and changing position as time passes, as the clock reading increases, then a steeper line means a faster speed or a greater velocity. I could even say, okay, what, what would it look like if this thing started at not 0.1 meters, but 3 meters? I can just enter that here and see that change. Um, so hopefully this helps you see the power of Logger Pro um, as a tool, not just for making graphs by putting in data here, but also just entering in those algebraic uh, representations or those algebraic models and seeing them instantly displayed on your graph.